Hi, good morning everyone. Welcome to um, Craft Space. Uh, today we are doing another FB Live in conjunction with um, World Car Free Day. All right. So World Car Free Day is actually uh, celebrated every year on the 22nd of September. All right. It encourages uh, motorists to give up their car for a day. Um, now, ever since the first vehicle on, uh, rolled out yeah, onto the streets in 1886, the world has had a love-hate relationship with the motor car. You either love it or you hate it. Okay? Today, with over 1 billion motor vehicles on the road around the globe, uh, it sometimes seems like it, as if we cannot escape um, the pollution noise and danger that they produce um, we rely so much on motor vehicles that sometimes we feel that it is no longer um, um, what you call that uh, a luxury items yeah it is like a need instead right so that is the reason why um, one day in a year is set aside to try and avoid using cars instead um, we should try cycling, walking, or using public transports. Yeah, Car Free Day aims to take the heat off the planet for just one day by encouraging people to be less dependent on their cars and try alternatives. So that is basically why uh, car, World Car Free Day is actually launched. Yeah, My name is Joey. I am a craft instructor from Craft Space. Today, in fact, uh, I was uh, being told that... Uh, Today is actually our 25th episode. Yeah, we have already done 25 episodes of FB Live since we first started um, doing it live on our own page. Uh, previously, of course, we have done some on uh, clients, uh, on behalf of clients. But uh, since 25 weeks ago, we started uh, doing it on our own page. And yeah, we have met our first milestone. Uh, which is 25 episodes. So thank you for your continuous support as well as um, um, your feedback. Yeah, um, It has helped us grow and improve in a lot of ways. And uh, the next milestone that we have is actually 50 episodes. So 25 more weeks to go. And uh, of course, uh, we will not be able to do it without your support. Yeah, And also um, your um, feedback. So please continue to help us to improve so that we can provide a better content for all our kids, right? Okay, um, today we are going to do a, a very special project. Um, many people actually ask why making a car where on a, uh, an event that highlights car free, right? So now the reason why we want to do this um, uh, balloon powered car is also not just to remind us that we should keep the car at home yeah, uh, as much as possible it is also a way for us to think creatively how we can actually um, find alternatives now the keyword here is to find alternatives yeah, to uh, many problems that car actually um, provide to to the uh, air pollution uh, problems that we have, all right? So that is the reason why we are doing a uh, car project instead of other projects, okay? Now, um, in conjunction with World Car Day, um, many organized events are held in, also in uh, different countries and different cities, okay? The event um, usually varies from country to country gave motorists and also commuters an idea of their locality with fewer cars on the streets. The benefit to greater society is a day with less traffic congestion, a greener environment and reduced gasoline demand. Now, uh, we have seen um, and it is already proven during uh, the many months that we, are st we were stuck at home, especially during MCO, the first MCO that we had last year, we definitely see a much lesser car on the road, right? And also, if you notice, last year was 
also last year and this year actually in fact um was also the year that we actually did not have any haze if you notice that yeah prior uh prior to the pandemic every year we have haze problem in malaysia right so last year and this year so far we have not seen it so it also proved that having less car on the road because everybody actually can't travel out yeah it actually helps to improve air pollution all right now uh, while projects along these lines have taken place from time to time and on ad hoc basis starting uh, with the oil crisis in the year 1973 it was only in october 1994 that a structured call for such projects are issued yeah in a keynote speech by eric britton at the international accessible cities conference held in spain okay according to the uh, um washington post that event promotes improvement of mass transit cycling and walking and the development of communities where jobs are closer to home and where shopping is within walking distance studies show that for short trip in cities one can reach more quickly using a bicycle or sometimes walk rather than using a car okay So car free day is an opportunity for cities to highlight how congested roads can be used in different ways. Yeah. It is also a massive opportunity for cities to realize how much pollution affects our life. Okay. Vehicle emissions are one of the main sources of outdoor air pollution. Now, that is the keywords, yeah. Particularly in cities. Transport is also the fastest growing source of fuel fossil fuel um carbon dioxide emission the largest contributor to climate change now we are going to go through a little bit more um on this topic air pollution because um we need to understand yeah uh, why it is so bad and why it is affecting our um environment yeah so that we will take action because um we i realized that we in fact Malaysians are not very um how would i put it are not very uh prone to walking yes and also cycling <laughs> okay we shall see um in in a few more minutes when i share with you the the the, the statistics yeah vehicle emissions are the result of poor fuel quality and weak vehicle regulation around the world now this is um um the keynote yeah found on the uh, partnership for clean fuels and vehicles yeah um it was launched by united nation environment to support countries to address urban air pollution through the adoption of cleaner fuels and more efficient vehicle um technologies and standards yeah So it is recognized for successfully supporting um countries to phase out leaded gasoline. Okay. Now as per um WHO World Health o- uh, Organization, exposure to outdoor air pollution contributes to as much as 0.6 to 1.4% of the burden of disease and um 4.2 million death every year due to air pollution. Okay. Now in Malaysia, uh we have our initiatives in terms of um uh, in conjunction with World Car Free Day. I'm not sure whether you all notice it or not. Uh many years back, um I think it should be around 7-8 years ago if I remember correctly. Yeah, um in 2013, yeah, um they had the uh, first car free morning program. Yeah, in Kuala Lumpur. It is actually promoted by Datuk Naim Muhammad and the mayor of the City Hall of Kuala Lumpur, Datuk Sri Ahmad uh, Faiza. Okay. So in conjunction with World Car Free Day in um 2013, yeah. Uh that is on uh, 22nd of September 2013, yeah. So we had our first car free day morning program. Yeah. So for those of you who have joined that program, please let us know. Yeah. so that uh we can also share and acknowledge your effort and also your um initiatives right 
Now, in order to understand why World Car Free Day is so important, it is vital to understand air pollution, like I mentioned just now, and how vehicles actually contribute to this. Now, air pollution is actually refers to the presence of foreign substances in the air that are not meant to be there. It can also result in there being an excessive quantity of specific um, impurities that would cause us harm. Yeah. So when gasoline or petrol uh, is burned by a vehicle, pollutants are emitted. Petrol fumes will escape into the air. This even happens when we are pumping petrol into our fuel tanks. Yeah, we didn't realize it. Yeah. So we will talk a little bit more about the air pollutants um, of which are main contributors to uh, main contributors actually come from vehicle. Yeah. So um, before that, we will go through the uh, material list of what we are going to do today. Yeah. So first and foremost, of course, we will need a uh, paper roll. This is the body of our car later on that we are going to build. And then we will need two straws. Now, preferably one with uh, the bendy part, and then one is the straight type, the normal one. Okay. Otherwise, then you can actually have two of the normal ones or two of the bendy ones as well. It's, uh, it's uh, not uh, compulsory to have one of each. Right? And then we need a skewer or a tiny wooden stick or what we call as LED stick. Okay? And then uh, we need some balloons. One actually is good enough. Okay, now if let's say you do not have balloon, I've not touched that part yet. Um, we will go through what we will need first, okay? Um, and then we will need um, paint, of course, paint and brushes. Um, we will need our scissors and cutter. This is a must have on every of our workshops. And also pencil erasers, yeah? Now, uh, also, four bottle caps okay and uh, last but not least glue or um, masking tape if you have or if you do not have masking tape then uh, we can use paper yeah uh, later on to wrap now if uh, there are also people that ask how if let's say we do not have a balloon what is the replacement now if let's say you do not have balloon um, you can't make the balloon powered car however you can make the uh, rubber band version which i will also show you it is more or less the same it's just that um, instead of adding balloon we will add rubber band at the end okay now if let's say you are using the rubber band version then you technically do not need um, the bendy straw yeah and if let's say you do not have bottle cap you can replace it with cardboard. Okay, just cut four round shapes using cardboard and that is a replacement. Now, again, uh, we, have, we always emphasize that, you know, uh, doing arts and craft is not, uh, there is no strict rules of you must have this before you can do this. It is about finding alternatives and finding solutions. That is what we want to highlight and that is what STEM or STEAM uh, as what we call now at uh, STEAM education, um, science, technology, engineering, arts, and maths approach. Yeah, it should allow us or it should encourage the kids to think pro uh, creatively and to find a solution to a problem. That is what we always highlight as well. Creative problem solving skills. Yeah, so um, that is why we have always uh, mentioned many many times that creativity does not have a structure okay so there is no right and wrong way to do arts and craft it is about finding solutions and alternatives full stop okay so um, i hope that it has uh, give you some ideas of what we will need so first and foremost of course we will need to prepare uh, the body of the car so the body of the car basically is up to you. You can leave it as it is. Or if let's say you want it to be a little bit more um, genuine looking car, then we will need to cut a hole here to make it to make a windscreen. Okay, for for the for the front of the car. Okay, so this is what we are going to do now. Um, first and foremost, we use a pencil. Okay, 
And then we just draw a uh, probably a U shape. Okay, a big U, depending on how big you want your windscreen to be. Okay, it's something like this. All right. And then after that, you have to cut out this part, but do not cut all the way. So we just cut the U shape only. And then we fold it upwards. Okay. So this part, you can use a cutter to help you. Otherwise, then you can actually um, ask um, if, let's say, you are too young and you are not comfortable handling um, cutter. You can actually ask your mom or your dad to help you to poke a hole. And then after that, you use the scissors to cut the rest. Okay, so let's do this part first. Now, this one, you, again, you can actually um, ignore it if you do not want. Yeah. Okay, so let's do this quickly. Okay, and then after that, what you do is you just fold this upwards. Oops, fold this upwards to make it into... A windscreen and then after that you can start to paint your car okay so painting the car is up to you what you want to paint how you want to paint it uh, with the paint and then after that um, you can start to draw the uh, door okay and also wiper if you want right so on this so first let's choose the color of the paint that we want um, we will choose a blue color one Okay, so we quickly paint this and then after that we can proceed with the rest. Okay. So again, if let's say your paper roll is brown color, please make sure um, you paint a layer of white paint on top to give it um, so that your, uh, your the color that you want is more um, it's much brighter, yeah. Otherwise, then it's it, it will be very dull. So when you paint, just remember do not paint the windscreen part. Right? So do not paint the windscreen part, leave it open. Then we can paint other colors on that. Or just leave it. You just uh, draw the uh, wiper later on. Okay, so we quickly just paint this. And then leave it dry for a while. All right. Okay. So while you continue to paint this, we will be talking a little bit more about air pollution. Okay. Because um, I think um, it is um, an issue worth highlighting because uh, there are a lot of uh, problems that actually um contributed yeah by air pollution okay so we know that um there are a, a lot of gases yeah uh, emitted by the uh, vehicle and in fact um there are four major types of um pollution pollutant that actually comes from vehicle yeah so this includes um the first one is uh, particulate matter Okay, which is small amounts of um, frain uh, substances. Yeah, when in the air, they can cause damage to people's lung, to our lungs, yeah, as they contribute to atmospheric uh, haze. Right? So that is the first one, particulate uh, matter. The second one is uh, oxygen, diox uh, oxygen oxides, which is uh, formed when fuel burns because of oxygen and nitrogen reacting to each other. So second one is nitrogen oxide, okay, and then the third one is hydrocarbons, yeah. Hydrocarbons are also emitted, yeah, by the exhaust. Okay, so the exhaust, uh, on the on on our car. So this is a toxic um, compound of high a uh, carbon and hydrogen, okay. And then lastly, of course, uh, the one that we are very familiar with is uh, carbo carbon monoxide. Yeah, it is emitted when the carbon in the fuel does not fully burn. So when you take all of this into uh, 
account, it is not difficult to see why it would, bene it would be beneficial uh, to have fewer or no cars on the road. Yeah. So now to understand air pollution, um, it can actually be categorized uh, into two sections. Yeah. One part is the invincible type and the other part is actually the visible one. Okay. So visible air pollution, as the name suggested, can be visible. So this is where um, you see haze, for example. Okay. So what we call it as smog. Smog is actually a combined word from uh, smoke and fog. Yeah. So it also uh, refer to hazy air that makes breathing difficulty difficult. Sorry. Yeah. So that is uh, the first one, visible. So that is why when the hay that the we have haze, then we can actually see it. So haze uh, also make our breathing difficulty where we will also need to wear um, mask. Yeah. So that is the visible type. And then the more deadly one is of course the invisible uh, air pollutant. Yeah. So the good example of the invincible type is actually sulfur dioxide carbon monoxide and nitrogen oxides. Sadly, um, the emission from vehicle actually covers two of the three um, invisible air pollutants that we mentioned just now. Okay, so that is the reason why it is important to also cut down the usage of car. Now, interestingly enough, um, when we, I'm, I'm not sure whether you notice it or not, yeah. Uh, we don't really walk as much. We don't even um, cycle as much and we don't even take um, public transport as much. However, when we visit other countries, for example, myself included, <laughs> we usually walk or we take public transport. Something to ponder about why. Is it because, uh, of course, um, I, I would have to, uh, acknowledge that public transport in Malaysia is not as um, as good as other can uh, some of other countries, but um, that doesn't mean that we can't actually um, find alternatives to driving. Yeah. Okay. World Car Free Day is also beneficial in terms of promoting other modes of transport, like I mentioned just now, like cycling. Um, um, taking public transport. If let's say you are not into cycling, you don't like to walk, you don't like to take public transport, that's the other way, which is carpooling, which uh, we have been, well, the government has already uh, actually put in these initi initiatives many years back. However, um, I don't see the continuity of these um, initiatives anymore. Um, it's like suddenly it disappeared, <laughs> okay? So carpooling is actually um, a very good initiative. Yeah. Of course, now we have e-healing. Yeah. Uh, Grab, we have from other um, organization as well, which is a good uh, initiative. Of course, sometimes we might think that, you know, it may not be safe uh, to travel um, in Grab or those uh, e-healing services then um, why not find um, an alternative and also um, um, carpool with your colleagues and friends. If let's say you are staying in the same neighborhood or, at a, or going to the same area or same, you know, um, uh, office or same street, yeah, or same location, in fact, okay. So let's talk a little bit about the alternatives, yeah. So cycling or taking public transport or in fact carpooling. Carpooling actually is, uh, is uh, I think personally, um, is um, way better alternatives compared to um, probably walking, cycling um, or taking the public transport because it may or may not. Yeah, this is personal uh, opinion, okay? Because of the humidity of Malaysia's weather, yeah, it may not be a good um, um, or ideal uh, solution to tra travel or uh, to, to walk or to even cycle to work sometimes because it's too hot, right? But um, cycling provides a whole uh, new benefits, yeah? a lot of benefits that uh, many of us did not think about, yeah? 
Uh, first and foremost, they are ob obviously a great way to ensure that you stay healthy. Yeah, so cycling is not just about, you know, um, cutting out driving at all. It is about staying healthy and participate in some exercise. Yeah, so especially for kids, for example. Yeah, so it is important that they need to know how to cycle because uh, it is not just a way for them to live a cleaner and uh, um, cut down on uh, um, driving. It is also a way for them to exercise. Yeah, so that is one thing. Um, also, um, like I mentioned, carpooling. It, uh, it is a way for us to not just um, cut down on air pollution, it is also um, an option to save energy as well as money. So you all can go Dutch, in fact, yeah, by um, sharing patrol or the distance or even take turns to drive, yeah. So in a survey, now this is an, a statistic that worth mentioning. Yeah. In a survey done by the Center for Governance and uh, Political Studies uh, in the end of October 2019, that is like two years ago, uh, pre-pandemic, pre-MCO, okay, found that um, Malaysia has the highest single driver commuter rates in the world, which means um, most of the vehicles, the survey actually uh, surveyed uh, um, on uh, the duration, a certain duration and found that 87.8% of the vehicles that pass by has only one driver in it. 87.3, <laughs> which means again, we are well known in the world <laughs> for being the highest, for being for having actually the highest single driver commuter rates in the world. In the world. Can you imagine that? Okay. The survey also found that around 11.6% travel with one passenger on board, while only 0.9% travel with two other passengers on board. So which means if let's say you add up together, The carpooling rate is actually less than 20, 23%. Yeah. In other in the um, in other countries we can see more or more balance, yeah, uh, when you have the uh, um, single driver as well as uh, carpooling. Now this uh, statistic does not take consideration of those uh, e-healing services, yeah. So uh, that one we didn't count. Alright. So that is the reason why we need to really um, cut down the usage of car. Now, I might even say that we are one of the major contributors in terms of air pollution, right? Because 87.3% 80, is actually a very, very high number. Yeah, we are talking in other countries, we are talking um, less than 60%. Less than Right, and uh, in in fact, in a lot of countries, they actually have this ruling to say that you know they need to cut down on single commuter in a vehicle. Yeah, uh, they want to increase on the uh, car pooling rate instead. So this is also very important figure for us to understand why um, we seriously need to look into this and try to improve from there. Okay, right. So let's check our car. It's almost done. It's uh, almost dry. Okay, so next we need to prepare our skewer as well as one straw, the straight one, yeah, the normal straw. Um, if you do not have the normal straw, it doesn't matter. You can use the, uh, the, the bendy ones, okay. Now, um, we need to cut this uh, skewer into two. Um, slightly longer than your body of the car so you this is where we will attach our wheels yeah so we can uh, get it ready first but do, we do not stick it first yeah so let's get it ready and cut now there is no uh, exact measurement or how long your stick that you need to cut as long as it is longer than your body 
it should be fine. Okay, so we need two of these. Right, so let's cut this. So we have the front uh, part of the uh, wheels and also the back part here. So two. Same thing for your um, straw. We will also need two. Now this one, um, if let's say you are using the rubber band type, then you need to cut uh, into four. Okay, because we need to leave a tiny gap in between. Okay, so um, so it depends on whether you use the um, uh, balloon or you use rubber band. So again, I repeat, if let's say you are using the uh, balloon type, then your straw you cut into two. Okay, if let's say you use a um, rubber band type, then you need to cut into smaller, uh, four smaller parts. Okay, but it's also equivalent to two. If let's say you add them up together. So I will suggest you to cut two and then cut half again, okay, to make it four. Now this one should be slightly shorter than your skewer, okay, because uh, your skewer should not touch the um, straw. So the, 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 the function of the skewer is actually to move the wheels, yeah. So that's the reason why it should not touch it. And you should be able to, when you insert it into the straw, you should be still able to see the skewer on both ends. Okay, so we can cut this two parts again. Right, so we need two parts. Now, if let's say you use rubber band, please cut half, okay, to make it four. Okay, so I will cut half first to make it four. But for those of you who are doing the rub, uh, the the balloon type, you don't need to cut four, yeah, only two, right? So and then after that, we will need to insert it into our skewer. Okay, I mean the skewer, you have to insert it into the straw. Right, so let's prepare this part while we wait for the uh, paint to dry. Right. Okay, now this is when you, if let's say you're using hot glue gun, uh, please get it ready because we will need to stick um, the skewer onto the uh, wheels already, okay? Um, if let's say you use a smaller cap, uh, you can... You can you have to make sure that it is actually in the middle, yeah. Your skewer, you have to stick it in the middle. Okay. So my wheels are slightly bigger because uh, we use the milk carton type. But normal water bottle, mineral water bottle type is good as well. So all you need to do is you have to put glue and stick it in the middle of the cap. Yeah. But do it one at a time. Okay. So one first, and then after that, you put your straw in. And then only you stick the other side. Okay, uh, don't stick it straight away <laughs> without putting in the straw. Yeah, otherwise then it won't roll after that. Okay. All right. So we get this ready. Put it one side. So we will have two sets of wheels. Okay. And then after that. For those of you who are using the rubber band ones, um, if let's say the size of your uh, car body is actually the normal toilet paper roll, then probably you will need only two normal size rubber band. Yeah. Now the uh, aim, the uh, if let's say you want to measure how many rubber band that you will need to combine, um, a good gauge will be something that is slightly longer than your car slightly okay um, this is where we will have the wind up type yeah so that is why uh, we need it slightly so that you can have the elasticity as well okay so what we do is for rubber band we at, we just um, combine both together okay 
right? Then uh, we just leave it one side later on. Okay, so let's see our hot glue gun is almost done. So take one cap and then we will take the one skewer and then we will put glue to stick it in the middle. Okay, so this is where you do not have to have something sharp to poke the uh, uh, bottle cap. Okay, because uh, it is difficult for you uh, to poke the bottle cap. I know it's tough because it's plastic. Right, so you can straight away, if let's say you have hot glue gun, you can straight away hot glue it. Okay, so let's hot glue this. Okay. So what you do, put a little bit of hot glue onto the skewer okay. and then stick it in the middle and let it dry. So you can do both at the same time first, I mean both sets yeah, at the same time but one wheel at a time. So it will take a while for it to harden. And then take another skewer. And then stick on to another cap. And let it drop. Let it dry. Uh, I mean harden. So hold it down for a while. You need to remove the, uh, this plastic inside. Okay. So stick it on. So while you wait for it to harden, you put it one side. And then let's check the paint again. We have to make sure that the paint is completely dry before we start working on it. Yeah? Because otherwise, then when we want to stick other things, then it won't stick. Okay. Um, for your windscreen, uh, you can actually just leave it white if you have white color. Um, otherwise, then you can actually paint it. And then I'm going to draw two wipers. Okay. And then I'm going to just leave it there. Of course, you can actually draw um, your door. If let's say you want to make it into more sporty look, you can actually decorate it more. You know, you want to put it into as a sport car. Then after that, you can actually uh, paint different colors on it. Yeah, on different parts. It's up to you. I will show you the basic how to make it. Then the rest is up to you. How you want to beautify it. Okay. Right. So adding glue and then let it dry because um you need to make sure that it is straight, yeah. So both sides. Then after that we can put in the straw. Okay. You can put in the straw and then you, you can stick the other side already. Make sure you put in the straw first before you stick the other side, huh? Otherwise, then you need to redo. All right. Then stick it on. Make sure your straw do not touch the uh, hot glue. Okay. And then put it up. Put it to dry. The drying part, you need to hold it up a bit so that... Uh, it will stay straight, yeah. Okay. Okay, let's put it one side first so that it will dry. Now, while we wait for it to dry, we talk a little bit about the um, um, effects, yeah, of air pollution. Okay, what are the effects? Yeah, uh, what are the problems that is caused, that can be caused, yeah, by air pollution? First and foremost, of course, it's uh, very close to us. Yeah, it's uh, the uh, resp respiratory and also heart problems. Yeah, 
so they can actually um, cause asthma, chronic bronchitis, heart attacks and strokes along of course um, with cancer um, to our body right now uh, we mentioned just now uh, actually 4.2 million death that is only on air pollution yeah, in a year yeah, that is direct or it is actually a direct effect of air pollution okay so there are seven uh, effects that are worth mentioning and it's also very um, um, close to us so that is uh, why I need to mention it so that we can actually take note on this and at the same time um, try our very best not to um, create more or in fact um, educate our kids on ways to actually help reducing air pollution. Okay, So the next uh, very major issue is um, related to our kids, yeah, child health problems yeah air pollution again um, it is uh, important because uh, it is what we breathe in okay so exposure to high air pollution levels especially during pregnancy actually causes miscarriages yeah as well as premature birth autism asthma and spectrum disorder in young children yeah it also has the potential to damage early brain development in a child and cause pneumonia that kills almost 1 million children below 5 years. Okay. Children are at a greater risk of short-term respiratory uh, infections in areas exposed to air pollutants. So that is why it is more important um, to educate the younger generation uh, why uh, this is actually disastrous. Okay. Now, of course, uh, everyone knows that um, Air pollution also causes um, global warming. Yeah, so this is again another direct uh, effect uh, um, that we we are witnessing. Yeah, um, global warming with increased temperature uh, worldwide, um, an increase in sea levels and melting of ice from colder regions and icebergs displacement. Loss of habitat has already signaled an impending disaster if actions for preservation and normalization aren't taken undertaken soon. So global warming again, we have already seen it. Yeah, it's very very. It's already happening, and it is uh, happening very in a very rapid rate. Right. So that is um, third one, and then again um, the fourth um, effect is um, also very close to us it's actually um, acid rain yeah harmful gases like nitrogen oxide yeah which and also sulfur oxides are released into the atmosphere during the uh, burning of fossil fuels yeah when it rains the water droplets combined with these air pollutants becomes acidic and then falls onto the ground in the form of acid rain Acid rain can cause great damage to humans, animals, as well as crops. Yeah. So that is the reason why we can't highlight it enough. Yeah, that we really, really need to take care. Right, and then the fifth um, effect is actually eutroph eutrophication okay eutrophication is actually a condition where a high a high amount of oxygen present in some pollutants gets developed on the sea surface and turns itself into algae and adversely affects fish plants and animal species in the ocean okay the green color algae they are present uh, on lakes and ponds we see it all the time are actually the uh, evidence yeah that this chemical actually um, present present yeah in the uh, area okay so just like humans yeah animals are also facing some devastating effects of uh, air pollution okay toxic chemicals pre present in the air can force wildlife species to move to a new place and change their habitat 
toxic, the toxic pollutants um, deposit over the surface of the water can also affect sea animals. Yeah, so we have been talking a, little, a lot on uh, preserving the uh, wildlife animals. Yeah, so this is also one part of it. Right. Okay, last but not least, of course, um, we talk about the uh, depletion of the ozone la uh, layers. Yeah, so um, if let's say um, we have a thinner layer of the ozone layer, which means ultraviolet UV rays actually um, emit harmful, um, I mean, the, uh, will cause skin and eye related problems. Okay. It also have the capability to damage crops. Yeah. So that is the reason why um, we need to ensure that it doesn't go worse because um, research has already, well, study actually has already proven that ozone layer is actually getting so much thinner. Yeah. And it is at a very rapid um, um, rate. Okay. All right, so let's check our wheels. Okay, so two parts are done, making sure that both are sticking nicely. Okay, so after this, oops, we can actually start to stick it onto the body itself. Okay. So when we stick, um, you put glue on the straw okay and then after that you stick it one in front and one at the back okay one in front and one at the back okay so let's put some glue first now for those of you who are doing the rubber band type make sure that your rubber band is actually um, in the middle yeah um, it's actually tied to the uh, stick instead, right? So what we do is we take one part and then we actually tie it into the stick first. Make sure that you do not tie it onto the straw itself because we still need it to move here. Yeah? And then the other part later on we will also tie it. Okay. Okay. So let's see if it's okay. Then after that, we will stick it on. Hopefully, this one will stick. Put a little bit more glue to secure it first. Okay. So let's wait for it to dry. So we can put the first one on first. So when you stick it on, make sure you stick it one in front and one at the back. This one doesn't stick. I wonder why. So put more glue. Okay. And then we put glue here. In making sure that the body only sticks to the Draw. Okay. So one part, and then after that, we can do the other part. Okay, my skewer is not sticking to the cap. Could be because my cap is too big. Right, so while we wait for it, next 
for those of you who are doing the balloon version, now we need to put, we need to fix our balloon, yeah? So we get ready the balloon. Okay, so this balloon, we take another bendy straw. And then after that, we will just fold this bend, bended part upwards. Okay, so this is where the shorter part is where we will attach our balloon. Okay, we will fit this straw into the balloon and then we will leave the longer part. Okay, so let's take one balloon and then we fit it in. Now, here you can use masking tape to tape it, to secure it so that there is no air coming up from the balloon when you blow. Okay, so this is where you blow and this is where you will inflate the balloon. Okay, so if you have to make sure that once you wrap it here, okay, you can try on it to see whether there's air coming out. If yes, then you wrap, you tape it more with masking tape or those cloth tape. Otherwise, you can leave it as it is. If let's say you do not have the bendy straw, you can use the normal straw. It's just that your balloon will not facing up. Okay, it will be sideways. That is the only difference, yeah. But it will give you the same um, result, okay. So if let's say you do not want to use tape, what you can do is you can take a little bit of paper and then wrap it around. So this is what I am going to do. So just a very thin um, strip of paper, but make sure that it is, you need to cover the whole thing, yeah. The, the objective is to not, uh, I mean to make sure that there is no air coming up from the balloon itself. Okay, so you can just wrap it around several rounds and then continue to wrap it. Okay, and then you can try. Okay, that's good. So there's no air coming out. And then we will just stick it with hot glue. If you have tape with you, please use tape. Um, I think it will be much easier as well. Okay. Otherwise, you can use glue and, and paper and stick it. Okay. So this is this part is done. This straw, okay, you need to attach it to the body of the car itself. Okay. So it should look like this. So if you feel that your um, straw is too long, you can cut it off a bit, but do not cut it too much yeah, because we need space for the kids to blow. Okay, so if let's say you make it too short and it is very close to the body of the car, then you will not have space to, uh, to blow on it. So leave it a little bit longer. It's fine if let's say you can just leave it as it is yeah. Right? And then after that, we will attach the other side of our wheels. Whoopsie. Okay, we will, we will just um, fix this later on. But now what we do is we will just stick the, this onto the car itself. Okay, so you can again, you can use tape or you can use glue. If let's say you use glue, please make sure um, you don't burn a hole. Yeah, because I'm um, this is actually hot glue, so you can put it here in the middle, okay, right? So if let's say you are, you feel that it's too long, you can cut it off a bit like this. But you need this gap so that the kids can actually blow, okay? So this is one. If let's say you are using the um, um, rubber band, now my, my, my wheels can't stick on, so uh, I will not try to find too, I mean, I will not uh, take too much time to actually um, try to fix it. But we need to attach the wheels both sides here. Okay. If let's say you use the balloon powered version, basically your car is done when you, you fix your um, wheels on. And then how it works is, you blow air into the uh, balloon, it, when it inflates, hold it up, okay, 
make sure the air is still in the balloon before you let go. So you put it on the on a flat surface, only you release, then the air actually will push the car and move forward. Right? So this is how it works. For the rubber band type, what you need to do is remember we have attached one, one, one set of wheels and then the other part also we need to attach it yeah, in between the, lead, uh, the, the skewer. Okay? So this one you may need to tie it if let's say you can't put it in. Okay? Otherwise if let's say you can still put it in then what we need to do is we need to um, just tie it together. And then what you do is, you just wind it up, one part of your wheel, okay? One part of your wheel, wind it up, stretch it a little bit, okay? And before, um, you, you have to hold it up, okay? And then only put it onto a flat surface, and then you release. So this thing, if let's say it is stretchable enough, yeah, um, it should move forward as well, right? So this is where you need to really give it a little bit of uh, elasticity. So because the stretchy part, stretching part itself will move, push the car moving forward. So that is how it works. Okay. So this is an experiment. Again, there is no right way or wrong way. It is how we actually fix our car. Uh, how fast you want it to go. It also depends determines by what materials you use, um, how big the balloon is, how much air is in the balloon, how elastic or uh, yeah, how elastic your rubber band is. It all uh, affects the result yeah, uh, of the experiment. Right? So if it doesn't work, what you need to do is keep on trying, fix it, and then try it again. Yeah? This is all uh, what um, experimenting is all about. Right? Okay, so we will stop it here. Uh, you fix your car and then you try it. If can, send us a video of how you actually uh, manage to do it and how far you can actually travel. Okay, your car can actually travel. All right, so um, we have two versions. Uh, one is the balloon powered one. And for those of you who are doing the rubber band type, also if can, show us, yeah, so that we can also see it. Now, um, for uh, those of you who actually pre-register with us, yeah, uh, we mentioned that we are going to give away um, five sets of uh, solar car kit. Yeah, so let's see who are the five lucky kids today. All right. Okay, so let's take our lucky draw box. Okay, so let's see who is the lucky winner number one. Tan Min Sun, um, parent Ang Ming Hui. Min Sun, if let's say you are here, please type into the comment section and say Min Sun is here. Okay, so this is how our lucky draw works. When I call your name, um, you need to respond so that we know that you are here. Alright. Um, if let's say we do not get your response, then we will forfeit your chance and then we will draw another name to replace it. Okay, so first name that we draw Tan Min Sen, um, parent Ang Ming Hui. So Min Sen or Ming Hui, if you are here, please let us know. Min Sen is here. Okay, so this is the first name. Okay, so second. Heidi Pang. Parent Chua Bi Gek. Okay, Heidi Pang. Mummy Chua Bi Gek. Uh, Heidi, if you are here, please type into the comment section and let us know that you are here. Okay. Third name, Ku Ka Yen. Mummy Helen Khan. Ku Ka Yen. Mummy Helen Khan. Okay, so Kayen, if let's say you are here, please type in and say that Kayen is here. Okay, fourth name, Braven, Mami Jolene. Braven, Mami Jolene. K. 
Okay, Braven, if you are here, please tell us no. Braven is here. Okay, so one, two, three, four. We've caught four names. Last name. Latria, Mami, Cindy, Yong. Latria, Mami, Cindy, Yong. Okay, so we have caught five names. Let me repeat. Tan Min Sen, parent Ang Ming Hui. Second name, Heidi Pang, Mami Chua Bige. Braven is here. Okay, congratulations, Braven. Um, Ku Ka Yen, Mami Helen Khan. And also Latria, Mami Cindy Yong. Okay, so we will wait for a while for them to respond. If not, then we will draw um, another name to replace it. Okay, so today is the last day of uh, last week. Yeah, Ku Kayan is here. All right, congratulations, Kayan. Yeah, uh, the last week of uh, September and uh, marks our 25th weeks of FB Life. Um, we have our ups and downs. Yeah, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But uh, we are very happy that all of you are very supportive and also um, share with us with um, a lot of your final artworks as well as your masterpiece. Yeah, so please continue to share with us because we love to see all this masterpiece. Yeah, uh, again, um, I cannot repeat it enough time. Yeah, and uh, we have to keep on telling and reminding our parents that there is no right and wrong when it comes to doing arts and crafts. There is no boundary. We should not have a structure. structure okay? Because we would know yeah, um, how good or how bad because there is no uh, reference. There is no, um, there should not be any judgment as well. Okay? So it comes from um, the creativity of an individual. And also the person who look at it. Yeah. So please do not feel shy to share your artwork because sometimes we do receive um, comments from parents when they send us uh, photos and say, ah, oh, it's not as nice as yours. No, no, no. It's, this is not the, the our idea to compare. Yeah, There's, there shouldn't be any comparisons at all when it comes to um, creativity. Yeah. What I do, what we do, uh, uh, what we hope to achieve is to give um, an idea to the kids how they can actually do a thing or two, sometimes in one way, sometimes the other. Yeah. But the rest of it, how you want to create the final um, piece is actually up to that individual who are doing it. Okay. We will not tell you the tree should be green or the sea should be blue okay because we have a pink sea or red sea right pink colored so there is no restriction there shouldn't be any restrictions as well right so many uh um we also hope that um you will stay with us or uh, or continue to support us for many more weeks or in fact many more episodes uh to come next month is a very exciting month uh, it's one of our favorite months because uh, it is October. Yeah, a lot of things are happening in October. Um, it's the beginning of autumn. It started on the 22nd, same day as World Car Free Day. Yeah, and it will last until 21st of December. So autumn is three months. So you can uh, expect more autumn related um, activities. Halloween, we are going to have Halloween workshop. We have um, autumn workshops as well. Um, Halloween workshop is limited time uh, and also limited quantity. Um, autumn workshops, however, will run for three months. So um, please stay tuned. And uh, um, Halloween is always a big, um, uh, I would say, event for, for us, yeah, physically or virtually. We, had, uh, we, we used to host tea parties physically. However, um, last year, um, because of MCO and uh, COVID, we actually converted our physical tea party into a virtual tea party last year. And uh, it was, I hope, uh, a success. Yeah, because uh, those 
uh, customers that actually uh, were with us during the tea party actually requested for another round this year. So we are planning for it. So if you are also uh, interested in participating into in our you know, tea party, uh, please stay tuned and uh, wait for the post, which is going to come up very, very soon. Yeah, we are very also we are also very excited. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Do we have Latria and Minson? Okay, last call for Latria and Tan Minson. If no, then we are going to forfeit this. So one more time, Latria and Ling, Mami Cindy Yong. Uh, second name is Tan Minson, Mami Ang Ming Hui. Okay. Last call, Latria and Tan Minson. Any? Okay. Don't have, then we will draw another two names. Let's see. So the first name. Wayne. Mummy Emma Tang. Okay. Mummy Emma Tang. Um, kid's name is Wayne. Okay. So this is the first name. Second name. Timote Wong. Mummy Evelyn Wong. Timote Wong, Mami Evelyn Wong. Okay, so let's see whether the two of them are available. I know uh, some of you may not want the gift, but um, again, uh, the lucky draw gift is uh, a way for us to reward uh, or also show our gratitude that you actually are on board and also become our follower. So even if let's say you are not... Um, you, you are not, uh, I would say that, responding, yeah, please do, <laughs> because some of you, I know that you are actually with us watching, but then uh, you just do not want to respond because you want to um, give, it a, give it to other uh, kids, yeah, no worries, the gift is actually transferable, okay. So this is one thing that moderator keep reminding me. You have to tell them if let's say they get the gift, even though if let's say they uh, do not want it, they can actually uh, give it to someone else. Yeah. So don't worry. Okay. So Wayne, Mummy Emma, Tang, Timothy Wong, Mummy Evelyn Wong. Do we have these two? If not, then we are going to snowball it to next week. Yeah. So we will we will wait for a while while waiting for Timote as well as Wayne to respond. Okay. Otherwise then uh, we are going to snowball it to next week. Alright. So um this is the end of today's session. If let's say you have any feedback or any ways for us to improve, please let us know. Uh, for those of you who have my number. Uh, you can straight away uh, WhatsApp me, yeah, uh, and also share with me your final artwork if can. Then uh, we will, we, we we can actually see it. You can actually tag us. Now don't forget, um, tomorrow is the last day, yeah, for you to submit um your entry for the uh, mid autumn uh festival lantern making contest, yeah. So let me remind you, again one more time. Tomorrow, 2 p.m. is the last day and last time okay, the fight, uh, that you need, you have yeah, for you to submit. Now, before you submit your entry, please make sure you fill up a form, yeah, a registration form, which we have attached the link um, on uh, the post itself. Uh, I'm not sure whether moderator can actually put it again. If, let's say, uh, you need it, then um, we will put it into the comment section. Otherwise, then uh, let us know then we can send the link to you personally. Alright, so um, this round, we do have a lot of um, entries yeah, from all of you. Uh, we thank you and we hope that you will win yeah, because uh, the prizes are actually very, very attractive. Yeah, It's actually sponsored by um, Satya City Mall uh, as well as Parkson. So please make sure you participate. We still have time. Uh, more than 24 hours yeah, to work on it. Now make sure you 
double check your final artwork before you send the video as well as the uh, the photos yeah because uh, you can only use paper materials remember so please make sure on that before you submit your final artwork yeah because once you submitted your final artwork we will not allow any changes right so we look forward to many of your creations who timote okay timote is here all right congratulations so please make sure you submit it before 2 p.m tomorrow and then after that i will see all of your creations okay um join us again next week um for another exciting activity uh, next week, uh, next month onwards, uh, I think averagely there will be one contest per month. Yeah, uh, also co uh, with collaboration with um, our business partners and also our uh, long term clients. So please stay tuned uh, because uh, prizes are very exciting. exciting yeah. So um, my name is Joey. One more time, um, I hope to see you again next week and many weeks after. All right, so have a good weekend and also have a nice lunch if you have not had it. All right, so I'll see you again. Bye.